In this video, I'll show you how to make chipotle peppers. If you didn't know this, chipotles are just red ripened jalapenos that have been smoked and dehydrated. Now there is a very traditional method of doing this out in the fields where the peppers are actually grown, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently at home with a smoker. And even if you don't have a smoker, if you have a gas grill or a charcoal grill, you can manage to do this yourself too. So in this video, I'll show you the entire process of turning our red jalapenos into chipotles. Let's get started. So to start, I've heated up the grill to a low, low temperature. I basically started the fire, let it burn for about 10 minutes, then added our wood, which is pecan wood. If you can find pecan wood, that's the traditional wood that's used to make chipotle peppers. You'll get the most familiar flavor out of your smoked peppers that way. But if you can't find pecan wood, it's totally fine to use any fruit wood like apple wood, or you can use mesquite or hickory. I'll be using mostly pecan. I have these large chunks and also a little bit of apple wood too. Now I wanna add quite a bit of smoking wood here because we wanna infuse the peppers with as much smoke as possible in the relatively short duration. We'll be smoking them just a few hours. So add quite a bit of wood to make sure it's nice and smoky. I also have a little bit of a heat shield over the base of my grill plate here. This is just tin foil, but if you have a proper diverter, that would be ideal. If you're using a smoker like I have here, you wanna close off all of the vents and maybe open up the top vent a tiny little bit to allow some of the smoke to escape. But I'm gonna start off by closing off all the vents entirely to keep the temperature nice and low. Now the ideal temperature is between 150 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The lower you can go, the longer you can keep them smoking. So keep a close eye on that temperature and keep it where it needs to be. If the temperature is too low, you can open the grill for about 30 seconds and allow some of that oxygen in to bring the fire up to temperature and then close the lid back down and watch the temperature to see if it rises. It's much more difficult to reduce the temperature of a smoker like this Komodo style grill. So it's much better to start low and bring it up to temp than trying to do the opposite. So like I said, you really need to use red jalapenos to make proper chipotles. They're much sweeter and that really leads to a better flavor in the end. Now that the grill's up to temp, I'm gonna open it up and add the peppers whole right onto the grilling surface. And close the lid back down. While our peppers are smoking, I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, Bootstrap Farmer. You may have noticed I said you need red jalapenos and that's definitely true. The jalapenos need to be ripe and red. And in order to get red jalapenos, you really need to grow your own. And we've had great results growing jalapenos in Bootstrap Farmers grow bags. The five gallon works great, but the seven gallon's even better if you want a higher yield. And they also have some great seed starting supplies that last a really long time. Everything Bootstrap does is high quality and long lasting. So if you wanna try gardening or upgrade your gardening supplies, check out Bootstrap Farmer in the link in the description. Once your peppers are on the grill, you wanna keep that temperature low and slow because you don't want the peppers to cook during this process. You really just want them to start dehydrating and for that smoke to penetrate into the peppers. I think it'll be really helpful if I explain how it's done traditionally in Mexico where they grow a lot of jalapenos and make a lot of chipotle peppers. Basically what they'll do is wait for the peppers to be fully ripe even to the point beyond ripeness where they're starting to dehydrate on the plant. It's a very arid climate, so they can wait a lot longer than we can here in New England where it's humid and our peppers may go moldy on the plant. Then they harvest the peppers and put them on a smoker right there in the field and keep the temperature between 150 and 170 degrees Fahrenheit for up to six days until the peppers are fully dehydrated and very well smoked. To smoke the peppers, they're using pecan wood. That's again, the traditional type of wood that you wanna use if you wanna make chipotles in the authentic fashion. But pecan wood can be kind of hard to find. So again, you can use apple wood or other fruit woods. Here's a little tip. It's September right now, and I found this smoking wood on sale for about $2.50, I think. It says $6, but it was actually much more discounted than that. So this is a great time of year to pick up some smoking wood. I got a few extra bags as well that I can use over the next year. So once the peppers are on the smoker, we're gonna keep them going there for at least two or three hours, ideally longer. If we can keep it nice and low and slow, we can go all day if possible. I just wanna check on the peppers every hour or so just to make sure they're not losing any of their mass or that the temperature is getting too high. If the temperature exceeds 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you definitely wanna close off your vents and try to reduce it. I've seen peppers stay on a hot smoker for too long and they basically go limp and lose all of their flesh if it gets too hot. We definitely don't want that. We just want the smoke to penetrate for as long as possible and then we'll take them inside and dehydrate them fully. Now I mentioned you can do this if you don't have a smoker. If you have a gas grill, we have a great article on peppergeek.com where I explain exactly how to make your own custom smoker box using tin foil and smoking wood 
You can smoke peppers and other ingredients on your gas grill or your charcoal grill using this method, so I'll leave a link to that down below. And another thing worth noting is if you have extra space on your smoker, it's a great opportunity to smoke some other things. We have a great recipe for smoked cream cheese, makes a delicious dip, and this is the perfect temperature to smoke up some cream cheese and make a tasty snack. I'll leave that link down below as well. Okay, so I'll come back in about an hour and check on the peppers and make sure the temperature's in the right spot. So it's been about an hour. We're gonna take a quick peek. I don't want the temperature to creep up any higher than it is. I would like it to come down a bit, actually. I have all the vents completely closed off now, but let's take a quick peek and see how the peppers are looking. You can see they've sort of glazed over. They have a little bit of a darker color to them. Lots of smoke penetration so far, which is a great thing. And we're gonna keep on going for at least another couple hours. Okay, so we're back after about three hours total smoking time and the peppers are starting to shrivel up and become quite discolored. I think the peppers have plenty of smoke penetration at this point, so I'm gonna take them off, put them on my dehydrator tray and get them in the dehydrator inside. Now you could cut these peppers in half and remove the seeds before dehydrating and it would make them dry faster, but most of the time when you buy chipotles, they are whole. So I'm just gonna leave them whole and dry them without cutting at all. Now drying the peppers completely may take anywhere from eight to 24 hours or even longer, depending on how low of a temperature you're going with. But I typically go somewhere between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit in the dehydrator. And that usually takes around 24 hours to completely dry peppers. You know they're done when they're basically brittle to the touch and they have a very wrinkled texture to them. They will shrivel in size and they'll be much lighter in weight. And at this point, they're basically preserved and can last for up to a year in storage. I recommend leaving them whole rather than grinding them at this point because that way you can rehydrate them later for use in hot sauces or soups and stews. Or of course, you can grind them into a powder later when you're ready to use it. And if you love the smoky flavor of chipotles, don't stop at jalapenos. You can also scale back the heat and smoke up your bell peppers for a smoked paprika or you can go hotter and smoke up habaneros or ghost peppers or even super hots to tailor that smoky flavor to your heat preference. Chipotles are a wonderful spice that are so versatile and useful. They add so much depth of flavor and even just a single chipotle goes a really long way. Thanks so much for watching Pepper Geek. I'll see you next time.